Hello, today we're in Proverbs 17, 14. The beginning of strife is like letting out water. So abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. Thank you, Father, for your word. Teach me. Because I want to learn. I have to learn something from you every day. You change my life. You renew my mind. You give me strength to take another step. I follow you. Allow us to learn from your word. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. How many times do we start a conversation and then we regret it, that we even started it? Because we see right away the direction it's taking. He's telling you, abandon the conversation, abandon the situation before it gets worse. I've been in that situation so many times. And now, thank God, I can see right away how it's taking a bad turn. And he helps me to get out of it. Other times I have to admit, I don't know how to get out of it. And other times, it's too late. But again, that's how he teaches me to help me to have self-control. And not to say whatever comes in my mind or whatever wants my, what my mouth wants to say. But I think about it really good before I say it. Because there might be a possibility that it's going to take a bad turn. So just keep it to yourself. But sometimes we have this thing where we just have to let it out. Keep it to yourself. Get yourself out of a danger zone. Because if you think about saying something and he puts this thing in your heart not to do it, he's warning you, don't do it. It happens to me all the time. How many times I want to say something. And it doesn't have to be bad. It can be just a conversation with my husband or my sister. And the Holy Spirit lets me know, don't do it. And most of the time now, I choose not to do it. And other times, I learn the hard way. Because even though he tells me not to do it, I still say, it'll be okay. And then I learned the hard way that I should have kept my mouth shut. Again, ask the Holy Spirit to help you, to lead you in your thoughts, in your words, in your actions, so you don't get yourself in a danger zone. So you can save yourself from a lot of trouble. And you pursue peace by just keeping your mouth shut. I learn about that every day because I had that issue where I would just open my mouth. And hurt people. And make the situation worse. But thank you, God, that you give me all kinds of red lights not to do it. And thank you, Holy Spirit. For helping me to choose good, to choose peace, and to get away from the situation before it gets bad. Because you're so good that you let me know not to do it before it starts. I pray, Father, that you will help whoever's watching 
to control their mouth, to control their thoughts before they get themselves in a wrong spot, in a wrong conversation. And if they happen to say something, God help them to get out of it quickly and honor you and choose you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless you guys.